Greetings and salutations, this is Imperativus Bayesian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. This is a quick update on our Xerxes um, figure. I had a figure for Xerxes, which was this chap, and he was mounted on a base with... Well, you can see the video. But this is an update because I had some spare crew from the chariot and it gave me an idea. And I... Didn't have, yeah, have a look. We should have already put the chariot video on by now. So yeah. this, this is the crew from the chariot, which are completely useless for a chariot that's in combat. And I'm using the chariot um, from Warlord Games as a, a combat chariot, not a king's chariot. Um, so I had the two spare crew and I decided to base them like so. Um, there is a golden throne, or bronze throne, that Xerxes can sit on with a little bit of cloth so his, his bum doesn't get sore. Because he's, he's a very tender person, Xerxes. Um, so he's got a nice comfy chair, to, comfy cushion to sit on. And he gets to sit there and drink his wine and watch the battle. And clearly, at this point in the battle, Xerxes has jumped up to look at what's happening because he saw his soldiers start to run away again. And he, <laughs> apparently, according to the, according to the histories, um, Xerxes sat on his golden throne. And bronze throne. Um, and watched the battle, and every time it, some of his men broke and ran away, he would jump up in fear for his army. Apparently. That's how the story goes. I bet he didn't. I bet he actually, he probably did, actually. Uh, he was probably quite embarrassed at the way his army was fighting. Yeah, so that's the update. Um, it has the Imperial Eagle on the, chariot, on the chair, and some nice little feet. It's quite good. I like it. So that's just a really, really quick update on it. So, have you got any questions for this one? No. Or anything additional for the Xerxes saga? No. So. And they have a children? Yes. Do they become kings? Uh. No, I think his nephew became king after him, didn't he? From uh, uh, oh, Is it his. Actually, it was Xerxes Zerx from. became emperor? Um, was he his, was he his son? I'm not sure. Um, is it, I, I kind of lose interest once the war's over. And, uh, so didn't follow the Persian kings. I, I, um, I, I, I'd read quite a bit about the civil wars that followed the, um, failure of Persia to defeat the Greeks when the Persian Empire began to, uh, see cracks. Um, but I never really read into it a huge amount because I was... I didn't, how much time have you got? You know? And so uh, it doesn't really do much good knowing this stuff. You only live twice. You only live twice? Really? Yeah. Oh, am I on my second or first? Because I need, I need, need to know this. It's only first. I'm on my first. Alright. What do I do in my second one? Well, you die. And then you get resurrected and you get spikes come out of your back of your head and stuff. You know what you get? Oh, yeah. Uh, you play too much Xbox. <laughs> um, do, you, do you know that's not, that doesn't happen? Um, yeah. Just pointed that out to you. How dare you. Yeah. Altman, yeah. Don't, don't Altman you need, will have a word with you. Don't you need some sort of flappy bat thing to land on your back and inject you with like an egg or something? No. I thought that's how you became a... Uh, well, yeah, yeah but there's, there's also a, 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 another way of doing it. And what's that? Well, you can get one of the creatures. Yeah, yeah. Dance be alive. Yeah. You, you take serum out of it. Yeah. Stick it in someone's neck. Has the same effect. Why would you do that? Because they're dead and scientists love experimenting and that kind of stuff. Why are scientists in these games always insane? Yeah, I don't know why. I just I don't know why. Yeah, that's like, I, get, I get the guys who invented the atomic bomb. That they were actually trying to build a power station. And they said, hey, you can make it go bang. Because the other way, they, could, they went to the government and said, hey, we invented a power station that's really cheap. And the government said, we're not interested, we want to kill people. We we're we're, we're <laughs> going to kill Japanese people. And so they said, well, we can make a bomb out of it as well if you want. And the government went, we'll give you funding, it's great, you can have funding. And then after they killed thousands of Japanese people, the, the government then said, go on then, build your power station. Which then melted down. I was melted down on the Americans. Yeah, we both had a meltdown. Um, we tried to make, our power station w was built to just make power, but we wanted to build an atomic bomb, but we had the wrong type of power station, so we had to burn it really hot to try and get the tritium out of it. 
we, and the, the staff caught fire. We went into a fireman, so the government, the police, went to the local town and volunteered everybody in the cinema to crawl into the reactor pylon and, and wash it down with water and push the pylons out, push the rod, rods out. So you imagine you're sat in the cinema and a policeman arrives and says, you, you've got to go and crawl around inside a nuclear reactor where you're going to get horrific radiation poisoning. Well, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, name, name one game where a scientist isn't completely nuts. So, if you've enjoyed this video... Right. Name one film where a scientist is not completely nuts. Apollo 11. Does it count? Why not? Because he's hallucinating. It's a film. He's hallucinating. Who's hallucinating? Apollo 11. Okay. Apollo 13. That's a true story. I highly doubt that's a true story. It is a true story. Is it? Yeah. Where, where the space station broke down on its way to the moon and they had to fly back using a pocket calculator as a computer. Actually, thought, the computer was a pocket calculator. I thought that was just a theory. No, I thought that was just the one with Tom Hanks. I know the movie you're talking about, I thought yeah. it was just a theory. No, 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 it actually happened. It was, it was a real thing. Apparently everyone sat and watched TV, TV and stuff because it was amazing. When was this? Uh, 19, so it was black and white. It's a long time ago, it was before I was born. Um, but yeah, it was it was impressive. Like before you were born, yeah, in nineteen hundreds. I thought you were born in eighteen hundreds. Yeah, I, I know where you sleep. I, I, seriously, I know, I, I've got a pet python. Right, uh, I think that's it. That's it's illegal in England to have a pet python. Is it? No, you can have a pet python. You're just not allowed to have a knife with a point on it. But poisonous snakes, fine. Pythons, absolutely no problem. Um, horses. Like bomb. No, I don't think you're allowed to own a sonic bomb. Oh, okay. Um, uh, let's see what else can you own. You can own a stick, so like a bit of wood, you can own that. Um, although, and you're not allowed to own a stick if it's got a pointy end. What about Novichok? Novichok, well that's issued by Porton Down. So I can't have it? No. No. Can I smuggle it? Yes, but again, that's, that's issued by <laughs> Porton Down, and people get ill. And, um, and, and and now die, apparently. It's amazing. Someone's actually died of Novichok, which is a shock, because I thought Novichok was some sort of a health benefit thing that made you look good. Any more questions on Novichok? Well, Russia got knocked out of the World Cup, so I can't yeah, make jokes. Yeah, yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, I feel sorry for him now. If it was England versus Russia, all them jokes during that game would have been about Novichok. Yes, it could have been. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. The amount of memes been put on Twitter. <laughs> I just think it's really useful that this story broke just as there was a challenge to Theresa May's government. just think that's interesting, that's all. Just throwing that out there. Oh well. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of Xerxes. That's everything from me. Is that Xerxes the man or the figure? Either. Just leave a message. Goodbye from him. Goodbye.